Oh, that is very strange. That is very strange. It, it was on macro, so I've just wasted ending that clip and starting another one. Um, or did, oh, no, 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 no. I started it up, didn't I? In the street and pressed the macro button. So, yeah, it's, it, the, the rule is still true, but I, I conned myself again. But uh, yeah, we're just looking through here and get the odd glid, I reckon, and uh, hopefully we might even find a young minkara sort of related sort of thing and i've forgotten where they were were they over here uh there was uh, is it this section i think uh, yeah that was it we're gonna it's this walk through pathway we'll get to it eventually if we just walk through this pathway if there are any here they're gonna i reckon they're gonna be really small because if they've germinated you know but if not they won't be here of course because as we know, we, we worked out there was, there was none hanging on these dormant plants as far as we could tell at the beginning of this season, so we know that they're, they're just like up the road, but as you said, we're here and then there's two blank spots where we think there just should be stuff, and then we got the Minkara site. So, um, yeah, we explored all that basically last year and, and uh, somewhat the beginning of this season. But, uh, yeah. Reasonably, oh, there's a grid, grid, yep, it's, oh, seedling of um, some of these things, so, yep, oh, there's a little base of result on some of them, yep, hairy calyx, so, um, yeah, anyway, I'm just looking around, scanning, yeah, oh, that's quite a, yeah, it's not that tall, is it, but, uh, yeah, nice shield tra shaped traps, very reminiscent, of course, of Drosa gigantea shield shaped traps. Whether there's any relationship there, lots of little seedlings here and there, but nothing of uh, pygmy at the moment. We've had a couple of glids, more of these um, things that I'm filming for somebody I don't even know who I'm filming them for now. Can you please contact me and say, It's me, I'm you're the one I asked. If you could do those for me, yeah, it's me. It would be nice to know, otherwise I'm just going to stop doing it. I've been doing it for about a year now, I think. Nice lichen on the rocks, looks like it's coming back. Um, yeah, we'll just do a little bit of panning around there so you can place yourself down low. If you want to go down low, I don't know. Does it look better for you fellas if I do down low, you know? Does it sort of give you a sense that you're really here on the ground, or does it give you like an insect view? of the world I don't know tell me what you want you know as I said you know the way things are going you're probably not gonna oh there's one with a bit of purpley going as I said we got down to between um, uh, not one degrees but we've only had one of those events so far so um, yeah well, I'm still looking, fellas. It looks promising, though, because you know, look, it's still damp and it's not drying out like you might expect with the way the weather's going. So, if we have a decent couple of days downpour, it'll keep the season going, and then we can come back and maybe this decent downpour will be the triggering of any sea, uh, seed to germinate. I don't know, and then we go and we can go and look at Minkara and check. You know, we can back check between this site and Minkara and. Uh, and also we have like thousands of glids just suddenly germinate having seen only a few plants here germinate when then we'll it will definitely reinforce that idea but uh, they're reasonably sturdy a little bit of color but they're definitely no chocolates are they they're definitely not like chocolates and chocolates are just on the other side of the road just over there isn't that amazing so um do you want me to collect seed of the chocolates you know you know as I said, a good pinch of seed in a vial, maybe, I would say like a, the way I'm putting it, one seed TARDIS equals the Stuart McPherson book of my choice, uh, I would say, you know. So, um, if you want a nice seed TARDIS with a good whack of seed in each vial for each of the species, and maybe some specialist stuff, like I go out especially to get some chocolate seed, or something like that, you know. Maybe do some of that bastard sorting out on the table for some Minkara seed. If that's the way we have to go through to play it 
right by the quarantine people well yeah okay but you know is that is that a fair and reasonable deal a sea tardis equals a stuart mcpherson book of i assume my choice well or does it equal two second hands to me <laughs> of your choice you know i mean <laughs> you know you've read them and okay they're okay but i haven't read them so you send them on to me or something like that maybe that equals a sea tardis you know you know I'm, I'm willing to you know not just have a single vial of each one i can go for more seed if you want to actually do some real back breaking soul destroying experiments I'm quite willing to do that so you know it's up to you fellas I've had a good go this past season but as I said you know we're in Abbott land at the moment so choose wisely because you might not get this chance if things get really bad and we get uh, you know upsets on the street and things like that you know we end up getting into a war that none of the populace wants and maybe we have a terrorist attack here via ISIS back here you know from what they're doing over there and this caliphate starts to go absolutely ape shit or something and uh, yeah anyway I think that's a quick look I like the dampness in the soil here maybe we'll come back if there's a decent dump of rain oh, there's a glid over there a couple of glids so you know there's there and there's one over there pause get your screenshot one there and uh, yeah so a few around but if we go back there we have a decent oh and then this one with the lovely mm, the lovely cherry essence this is a, the one with the lovely cherry essence and uh, yeah and oh didn't we when we can look at those banshees or something well this uh, obviously it's the end of okay so obviously it must be at the end of the season they they flower here or is it the or are they a bit like the um gorilla robustas they have like two flowering seasons uh, you know our bat pollen uh, bat pollen possum bat possum pollinated uh evergreen swamp tree basically grows to a, from a seedling to a tree uh you know of that sort of stature in seven years on swampy ground so i assume it has some sort of Mycorrhizal, in quotes, probably actinorhizal relationship with probably Frank Hu or maybe even our generic or Australis or some smacking com combination in between or something else. I don't know, but we're probably going to get down to it. But yes, they do look really nice with this sort of sunage. But you really basically have to come to Australia at the right time of year, fellas. That's this time down under in the southern part and flip that across that sort of diagonal line running from Perth to Brisbane the other way around for the Northern Territory sort of thing but probably slightly on the other side because of the you want when, as the water is draining out not coming in whereas here it's the other way around you want to come here when the water is coming in rather than draining out and go through the season that way if you, if you get my drift I think I, I think Gideon gets what I mean you know when you flip a, the yin yang around the other way you've also got to flip the board the board is the border issues of the yin yang as well but uh, yeah they do look very spectacular and this is in the wild even cultivation you may be able to double the size and the chunkiness we do know they get really chunky out at that conservation park uh that donny and i went out to you can see the footage on there but that was filmed in vhs maybe it's worth going out there with the, this camera and getting some really good decent footage of those really chunky um but anyway this trip's getting too long Probably time to start another one walking out because you never know, we might spot one on the way out or something. Okay, over and out.